Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. Today, we have a panel here to talk about Upgrade Your Opening. We're going to be covering some great opportunities for our current end users. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. I'm a senior product manager here and the host of a Minute with Mia series. I have a co-host today, Benji Bollock. You know him as the door dork. Benji, why don't you tell us about your new role with Asa Abloy? Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm excited to be here, Mia. Thanks for having me. And uh, just recently got promoted to the senior door dork. I'm just kidding. Uh, senior uh, digital communication specialist. And basically, that means that if you are following one of our digital platforms, you'll probably be seeing a little bit more of me. And uh, hopefully that's a good thing for you. That must be quite a change for you from being out in the field with our DSS team. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> definitely is. Definitely is quite the change. <laughs> yeah. Can you please introduce our panelists today? Sure. Uh, the first nerd I would like to introduce is Gary Agins, Director of Business Development for Corbin Rustwin and Sargent in the Asa Abloy Door Security Solutions, Region 2 and 3. If you're not familiar with our different regions, uh, he will be covering the Midwest, South Central, and Southeast of the United States. Um, and yeah, that section of the United States. Uh, the next nerd I would like to introduce is Dave Higginson, Director of Business Development for Corbin Rustwin and Sargent for Os Abloy DSS Regions 1 and 4 and Canada, which basically is the rest of the United States, that Northeastern states and then the Western United States and Canada. And lastly, our uh, nerd panelist for uh, the last final nerd panelist I'd like to introduce is Daniel Gills. Director of Business Development for Aero and Yale Commercial. Thank you, Benji. Welcome, everyone. Dave, what can you tell us about the opportunities that exist to upgrade your opening today? Well, thanks, Mia. Well, that's a great question, and I love softball questions when the, the first one out of the gate. But when you think about uh, opportunities to upgrade your opening, and you start to look at the U.S. and Canada as a whole, you just start to think about how many how many products that we put in the market over the last 10 years. And it kind of breaks down like this. You get 25 million locks, you get 10 million closers, 4 million exit devices, 40 million uh, cylinders. And that's just part of it. You, you think about all the other products that we offer through Asa Abloy and all the upgrade opportunities that you have. There are so many opportunities out there today to upgrade that opening with a, a change of a, a trim or adding something to that lock set or to that exit device, whether it's mechanical or access control. So there are millions and millions of opportunities today to upgrade your opening. Dave, did I hear that right? You said 80 million openings that we've deployed in the last 10 years alone? That's that right, Daniel. 10, over the past 10 years, 80 million plus. Wow, that, that makes me think uh, 10 years is really not that long of a time in the door hardware industry. Uh, what if we look back like two or three times that, uh, and there's probably a plethora of more opportunities to uh, look at, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely, you bet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a huge opportunity to up upgrade your opening. Um, Gary, what do you see as some of the changes in our everyday environment that's driving us to the need to upgrade your opening? Well, hey, Mia, thanks. Uh, you know, that's really a good question, too. So let's start with something we hear a lot about in the news today, especially with the pandemic dragging along, and that's mental health. We are seeing more and more rooms in existing hospitals and care facilities being converted to areas for mental health care. Along with that, there are changing hardware requirements for these areas. Often these upgrades are required by the Joint Commission, or JACO. And what are those requirements? Well, typically, these requirements, you know, uh, upgrades are focused on changing the door, door openings to be more ligature resistant. So ligature resistant can be a new term for some people. Can you explain what that means in regards to hardware? Yeah, well, you know, lig ligature resistant means lacking points where a cord, rope, bed sheet, or any other material can be looped or tied in a fashion to fashion a point or attachment that may lead to the loss of life or self-harm. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be a contributing factor to somebody's ability to harm themselves. Um, Dave, can you walk me through what some of the Asa Abloy solutions are for ligature-resistant hardware? 
Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, besides products that uh, Asa Alboy Accessories Groups have, Corbin, Russman, and Sargent offer a few different solutions for ligature-resistant hardware. When you look at those two brands, Corbin, Russman, and, and, both, and Sargent, they both offer a paddle trim, uh, HPSK from Corbin, Russman, ALP from Sargent. They offer a knob trim, and they also offer uh, a lever trim, the B, uh, BLSS or the BHL from Sargent. And then probably our most popular one is our behavioral health trim for the mortise lock, which is uh, BHSS uh, from Corbin Russwin and our uh, BHW from, uh, from Sargent. These are all very important products um, that reduce the, the chance of ligature. Um, and, but everybody has to be cautious about how they um, install them as far as what type of opening uh, a patient is gonna be uh, housed in. Um, the, the room is, uh, you have to make sure that the risk level uh, coincides with the type of hardware that you pick uh, to help keep that patient safe. Hey, Dave, I've got a quick question for you. Um, does an end user have to replace the complete mortise lock set or can they just replace the trim on these mortise lock sets? Well, that's, that's the upgrade opportunity right there. Then. You think about Corbin Russman, you can go back to 2016 and just uh, buy a trim kit and add it to that existing lock set. On the other hand, for Sargent, you can go back to 2002 and add, add, add the BHW uh, kit to that, to that existing lock set, saving money and dollars for that end user and quickly uh, changing over a room from maybe a standard room, patient room to a behavioral health room. Wait a second, Hig. You said we can go back to 2002. Now, I'm looking around this little panel here, and that may be about half the time that some of us have been alive. We have lock sets in the field that literally you can just replace the trim. So for half of my life, you guys have been selling locks, and we can now upgrade those? Absolutely. That's a big install base. It is. Well, you guys are certainly pas passionate about being able to upgrade your openings. Um, are there any other upgrade your opening opportunities that you might find in other medical facility environments? Well, certainly, Mia, you know, uh, with, with the COVID pandemic, we all became much more aware of the surfaces we touch every day. And our next thought is how can I keep from touching these surfaces or touch them less? So Corbin, Russman, and Sargent both offer some great upgrade your opening opportunities with our HPSK and ALP paddle trim. This trim allows you to unlatch a door by using your forearm or hip. Sargent also offers some traditional hospital latches with the 114 and 115 hospital latch, and then the PT trim for mortise lock. I can really imagine how important it might be to reduce the amount of touching required to unlatch a, a door. Uh, I hate using the word new norm, but I, I think people are just more conscious or aware of uh, what they're touching as they're going through a building today. It's really nice to know that AS Abloy offers um, solutions like MicroShield, which is our antimicrobial coating. And with the recent addition of a copper-based coating, Cuvero, which is also very fun to say, Cuvero, <laughs> Uh, you can order both of those as a special ordering, or order. With all these solutions, um, I'm sure that we can significantly help reduce the spread of germs in these environments. Benji, you know, you're spot on with that. It, it's interesting to look at not only the spreading of germs that we can help prevent, but think about some of the traditional openings where we've always relied on a lever of sorts. With paddles now and some of these antimicrobial and antibacterial solutions, we can also offer a convenience factor. You look at other applications where people don't want to touch things, you can take that outside of healthcare and put it into something like K-12 or even amusement facilities, colleges, universities. So we're seeing so many applications where people want less touch, but also more convenient arm, hip, and, uh, and, and the like applications. So there's just a tremendous amount of opportunities when we start looking at where we can take these solutions. This has been great and uh, so informative. I love looking at opportunities to upgrade your opening and thinking about the next products we can create to help provide upgrades for you. Our information, uh, for, for information about these Os Oblo products, you can follow the links below. Also be sure to connect with each of our panelists on LinkedIn because we share 
Um, great ways and opportunities to upgrade your openings as long as new product announcements and product updates. Um, you can find the links to their profiles below as well. Well, guys, I'm really excited that we could talk about a few Upgrade Your Opening opportunities today. If you have any Upgrade Your Opening opportunities um, and you are an end user, you can reach out to your local hardware providers and installers. Um, if you're a locksmith, you can contact your favorite Arrow, Corbin Ruswin, Sargent, and Yale Wholesale Accounts. If you're really excited about what you saw here today, but you just don't know how to reach out to, uh, I'll put a link below where you can find your local DSS office. You can also find links to all the products we talked about below. Don't forget to click like on this video and subscribe to stay up to date when we release new videos. I look forward to future discussions where we can discover more openings that need to be upgraded. Thanks for watching.